Hello and welcome back to AR on AR. I'm Adam Rose and what we're going to look at today in terms of adventure racing is just an example of some of the kinds of packs you might want to invest in uh, if you're going to take part in the sport. Okay, so starting off first of all, here's a really light pack. It's something you know you might use if you're an ultra runner or long distance runner. Um, fits the body very tightly. It doesn't bounce around. Obviously you tighten the chest here. Um, but it's, it's pretty much a running vest and you can fit your gels or whatever kind of food you're carrying here. In this case, it's got some sort of uh, camelback type system. And this will work fine for the shorter events. You know, the, the, the amount of storage it's got in the back here, probably five liters. It's got some bungee cords to stash some gear in there. That might be quite useful. And it's even got little pockets on the hips here um, just to put more gear. So that'll, that'll, that'll be fine for a three, four hour event, five hour event. You can probably cram in everything that you need. This is a slightly bigger version of the same kind of idea. It's got a bigger pocket at the back. It's got more storage. Here you're looking at about 15 liters. Again, probably put a camel back in here. It fits the, the, the chest again. You can see it's the same kind of vest idea. Again, you've got, you know, you secure this across here. And a lot of these um, packs have a whistle built in. That's what this orange part is for, which is kind of handy. You don't have to carry a separate whistle. But again, a very similar idea. Everything's available. You don't have to take it off when you're racing. You simply reach in, grab the bits you need. You can even reach over the back and uh, pick out the gear that's required. This is a, a 17 liter, so it's slightly larger than the previous one. Um, the difference between this and that previous one, the other two, in fact, is that this is a, a proper backpack in that it's got a um, hip belt, or waist belt. So, you know, tighten that around here. Got the same idea, putting across a chest strap. Same idea that you've got the whistle built in. But again, this is pretty snug. And as I've said on previous videos, I've used this one for over 10 years for the short races that I uh, take part in. And it does the job. And having the hip pockets is really, really helpful. If you don't have pockets on the, on the straps here, you absolutely need pockets on the hips, one or the other, so you can get the food out without having to stop and take your pack off. And then finally, here we have a bigger pack. Now, the volume on this one is 32 liters. It's pretty standard volume wise. Sometimes bigger races where you're carrying a pack raft, you might even go into the 40 liter range. But um, this is a pack that I've been using again for almost 10 years. Same idea that it's got the hip belt. Again, it's got the pockets on the side here. It's got side pockets. I can reach into here on the move and grab, you know, whatever I've stuck in there. And it's very obvious that it's got these water bottles to carry the water. Now I can uh, put a camel back in the back there, you know, bladder to uh, feed the water there, but I prefer to use water bottles. And you know, which is better, using the bladder or using the water bottles, we can uh, have that discussion in another video. But pretty much in a, in a bag like this, it's got a, a top pocket, it's got a netting over here. In this case, it might just be, you know, a bungee cord, but in this case, it's got netting, which I can throw, you know, wet gear or my jacket or something like that. The bungee cord on the side and uh, I use this bag quite often for towing people so I attach a tow rope to it and again I'll show you how to do that in another video but you know there's a vast range of packs that you can use for a race you pretty much choose the pack based on the kind of event that you're going to take part in there is no one size fits all um, but there are a lot of brands out there that you should probably keep an eye open for um, that have gained a lot of credibility in the uh, adventure racing circles. Examples might include Osprey or MacPack, uh, both down in the Deep South, New Zealand, Australia kind of brands. Salomon, Berghaus, Innovate. Innovate produces some pretty decent packs for adventure racing. They're not specifically for adventure racing, but they've got everything like I've just shown you there on that OMM pack. They're another British brand that's really good. Um, and if you're over in the US, a very popular brand is produced by uh, an adventure racing legend, Mike Closer. He raced in so many races, world class, world champion. Um, and he's produced a, a, a brand called Out There USA. And a lot of competitors use his packs. Uh, the benefit of those packs is they're very modular. They have so many compartments, so many pockets, and they built by an adventure racer for adventure racers. So if you can, uh, import one of those packs over to your own place if you're not based in the US they're very very popular and it's pretty much down to what you feel comfortable with it's many different brands many different sizes some might go for that that out there USA some people might go for the Osprey it's really up to you 
but you'll need to test them out like I said it depends on the event itself as to what pack is going to be appropriate all right hopefully this has been useful hope to see you on the next one thank you